Hello Polygoners, we got our first couple of cities established. We are going to be moving on into the next phase of our plan. We want to secure this trading hub, get a third base set up, and eventually start moving west. Yeah, that's west. West towards Mali. In the meantime, we've got to deal with some barbarians here in Mecca and the Arabian Peninsula. Hopefully we can make friends with Sumer. And this will keep us from having to fight a war on two flanks. So we'll keep our eastern flank safe with our ally Sumer and start moving towards Mali. Alright, I guess we'll start the shrine. Alright, and then after the shrine, we're going for a settler. Mohandas Gandhi. <laughs> it's kind of funny that India is like a great big peacekeeper in this game, but also like new happy. I'm sure I'm not the first person to point this out. Alright, we got wheel. We got political philosophy. Now the question is... Our cities with a district receive plus one amenity. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna need. But I don't really need great people. Huh. Yeah, I think we'll go with it anyway, though. We're not gonna keep that for long, but it'll be useful. Short term. And we'll just throw that in there. Do I want more great profit points? I don't think it would hurt. Great scientist points would also be awesome. Um, yeah, I think we go straight for the great profit. Boom. All right, all this is kind of cleaned up now. All right, and we'll have those archers kind of staggered back a little bit. Uh oh, India's already spreading its religion. You ain't gonna catch me sleeping. Just informed there is an Oreo that tastes like a jelly donut. That's pretty fantastical. Actually. And ew, we get a settler. Are we gonna be able to steal a settler? Like, if we can steal a settler, that would be. That would kind of make my day. These things do not typically happen to me. Alright, so I think the first thing we want to do is go improve some wheat. That's not wheat, so we won't worry about improving that. I don't know where I'm going to put the settler, if there's anything here worth settling, because it looks like mostly desert. Scout is down. Settler is caged. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of that's worth taking, so... Huh. I think what I'm going to do is keep one archer here. Keep one, like, right here, and that should just stop any barbarians from spawning. I have two roads. I only have one trade route. That's legit a road. Is someone over here? Like, tr I don't know. Huh. Alright, anyways. Build that improvement. There we go. And that brings us up to 6 out of 7. A few amenities left over. Cool. It's kind of what we wanted. Alright, give me that settled oath. Yeah, I just don't see any of this land being worth settling. This might be worth settling. But we could just go ahead and send straight down into here. This is kind of where I want to settle. What if I settle here, though? Mm, it's just food. Yeah, I think this is where we want to go. 
All right, yeah, that right there reveals everything. Cool. All right, so this episode is really focused around just setting up these initial three cities. I'm debating whether I want this oracle. Um, it'll help a lot with the great person stuff, and I think this is this is where we want to go with it. So at this point, we've got pretty much everything we could want. Maybe a few extra scouts to actually go do some stuffs. At least one extra scout. Is anyone trying to influence Zanzibar? Influence by one civilization? No. Alright, cool. So, I don't really see any reason to continue giving you stuffs. You want a great writer. You want theology. You want a great marcher. I want Carthage to be my friend. So that's what we'll do. We'll make Carthage my friend. Uh oh. Is this a denouncement or a declaration of war? This is a surprise war. Okay. Um. Huh. I really wasn't expecting this. Damn. This could be really bad, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to revive this. Um, what are the war carts weak against? What are they considered, actually? Heavy chariots? Alright, so... Spearmen. Gonna have to use the power of some really imbat archers. Alright. Yep, everyone come to heal. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I wonder if I can fire over water. Like, if I've got an archer right here, can I hit this thing? If so, that's gonna be some badass defense. Uh-oh, we might just find out. Yeah, I think they're probably gonna kill off that first archer. Maybe not. Yes, I can shoot over water. That is phenomenal. Alright, so we're gonna kill this thing and make a very strategic run. Run, 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 run! Keep running, keep running, keep running. Dude, why, what, what, what? Why are you, why, why, what, why are you not running? Your life is in jeopardy. Run! There's no sham in deterrence. Having a weapon is very difficult from act, different from actually using it. Alright, so this is probably a dead archer. Yeah. Kind of had that feeling. Alright, so looks like we've kind of won the war. I don't know what he's got packing behind there, but... For the most part, I've only lost one archer. And... I learned something about this, this little path right here. This is awesome. Moses was right. <laughs> the war chariots. <laughs> <laughs> poor Pharaoh. Alright, this poor archer's gonna be defending himself again. Here's the thing, I wanted peace with with Sumer. I didn't want to go to war. I just wanted this city and then I was gonna leave you alone, man. Why would you Why would you try to do something like this? Thought we were friends. I must protect the interests of Poland. Surrender quickly so this may end without bloodshed. Did you just declare war on me too? Poland. Poland, really? Dude, I don't even see your units nearby. Like, is it, are Rook even going to let you through to her eye to attack me? Like, what, what, are you high or something? Aw, oh, my warrior dying. Well, I've lost 
quite a few warriors this game, but I think I think we're gonna be okay. Two surprise wars? Am I like the weakest person on army or something? Ninth place? I'm pretty low. And um, she's got like 243 compared to my 73. She could wreck my face right now, son. I uh, just gotta use this to my advantage. Yeah, delete you. Alright, so. We've got a lot of wars going on. But I kind of want to build a commercial hub here. That's really, really cutting it close. Let's go for... Let's go for another archer. They're proving to be pretty badass. So now, the moment of truth here. Um, Probably not going to need too much from food. This is mostly going to be production. Do I need a builder? Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a builder. <laughs> that war chariot went right on home. Alright, so hopefully people will just stop declaring war on me. That'd be nice. I could play with by those rules. Alright, back to the Oracle. Why are we friendly with with India? Unknown reason. Okay. That's fun. Alright, so we might have got our great profit. That's cool. Yep, go there. Yeah, alright guys, we got our great profit. Looks like we've defeated a rook or a Sumer in this um this little war we've got going on. I'm not even sure what why or how that started. Looks like Poland has declared war on us, but uh, I think that's India. Poland should be like right up in here. I'm not really sure where Poland even even is supposed to be in the in the game, but I don't think she's gonna be able to get into us. So let's go ahead and found this religion and wrap it up for this first episode. This has mostly been a setup episode. I think things will get a lot more exciting in the upcoming ones. So found religion. And, uh, these are all the custom religions. I like picking Shinto. I also like Judaism. Sikhism always looks cool, though. Alright, so this is why I don't like waiting for the last religion. And unfortunately, the Zen meditation. Yeah, we've only got a couple of. Damn, sad face. Um, all right. Do we need more housing, or do we need more amenities? Amenities, definitely amenities. Um, we're gonna be having a lot of specialty districts. Okay, cool. All right, now the religion beliefs. These are good. So really, it's coming down to a toss-up between cathedral, because the religious art could be a big thing. We're definitely going to be doing a heavy population, great people focus to get to our um, our science victory. The other option is stewardship. So we do have a gold kind of uh, approach here. Mm, science is going to be important. But honestly, I think... Having culture is going to help us get more city-states and be able to keep them. And this is really going to be a game that's a competition for city-states, ultimately. Um, Yeah, I think this is going to be the way to go, because it's going to be m more faith. Yeah, found it. Cool. Alright, guys. Before I hit that next turn button... I want to thank you for joining us. If you like this content, hit that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button in the face. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Until next time, Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.